there. Do you know today is Thursday and tomorrow is the last day of school and it's a half day. So I'm gonna send you some fun things if, if you'd like to do them, but we're not gonna have a full school day like we have been doing an NTI school day, which is not like our normal school day. And then it will be Christmas. And then we have another week, the new year. And then Lord, please let us go back to school all healthy, our family's healthy. That's what I'm praying for. Um, but today on Bible, we have to recite, or that means um, remember and say, Luke 2.12. I'm going to try it so you can practice with me and you know I mess up sometimes. So then I stop and think about it and try again, right? We don't have to have it just right the first time. Um, we're working on it. We're learning. So Luke 2.12. For this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Yes, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, are you ready to do it? If you're not, practice this. Go remind me back and practice with me a few times. The motions really help me. If I didn't do the motions, I would have a really hard time remembering it. So I either have to use the songs or the motions to really remember them. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? No. Okay, so I want to talk to you just a minute. Yesterday we talked about how Jesus was a gift to us. He gave us the gift of his um, life. God gave us the gift of his son by sending him here from that perfect place in heaven to earth, right? So that is the gift that God gave to us. He gives us many, many gifts. Gifts, grace upon grace upon grace. The Bible tells us we just are full um, the world is full of the gifts of God, and we want to see them. We want to count our blessings. We want to thank God for them. Um, and the, the most important one is that he would send his son to die for us, right? So that we could live forever in heaven. Um, so what kind of gift can we give to God? I just wanted to, want you to think about that for a minute. So obviously we can't wrap a present and hand it to him or even leave it on his front porch like um, Mrs. Borden's going to do for you and like you might do for some family members or, or things. Um, we can't just give him a gift like that. So what kind of gift could we give God? Hmm. I used to do it. My kids were little. We did this every year at Christmas. We, I would challenge them to come up with a gift for God. We all had to think of something that we could give to God. Um, and what God wants is us. He wants us. There's that clock. Do you hear it? So what time am I doing this? It's 10 o'clock. That's what time it is. Anyway, let me focus. Oh, a gift to God. So he wants us. He wants our love. He wants our time. He wants to spend time just like someone that you love. Don't you love when your mom or dad or friends um, spend time with you and want to spend time with you and do things and talk to you. God wants those same things. He wants us to talk to him by praying, right? We can talk to him right now. Lord, we don't have to close our eyes. We don't have to do anything special. We can do it out loud. We can do it in our head, but he wants us to talk to him. He wants us to get to know him better. So we need to spend time in his word. We need to learn about him. Um, and then he wants us to praise him, right? He says to give him praise and to worship him. So that's really the gift you can give. So think about that. So I remember um, one year my kids, one of them sang Away in a Manger. And so we would present it to him on Christmas morning and we would each take our turn and give our gift to God. So one of them sang um, that picture that I showed you. Um, Mox usually drew something because he really likes to draw. So he would draw something and it would remind him of God. And that's a way of worshiping, to, to think about God and to, to create something or to do something um, that helps you to think about him and give him praise. That's a, that delights God's heart and it helps us to worship him. Um, my other son, Max, he usually wrote a song because he likes music and he likes to write. So he would write a praise song and would sing it to God and to us too. Um, one time I gave, it was like a penny and I'm trying to remember exactly what I was thinking, but my thought was, I want to think about God and when I get money, it comes from, it comes from God ultimately. Any gift that we have, any good thing in our lives 
God has blessed us with it. So I wanted to make sure that I realized what you give to me, I want to give back to you. So I want to think about how I spend my money. Do I just spend my money for myself or do I spend my money to help other people? Some of my money to help other people. Um, so that was a gift I wanted to give to God. I wanted to say, I am going to think about how I spend my money and I want to give to other people and not just keep it all for myself because that's not why God gives us a gift is to keep it. He wants us to share it. So anyway, I wanted you to spend a few minutes today thinking about that and like what kind of gift could you give to God? Uh, maybe it's just a gift of your time. Like I said, maybe it's taking time to think about him and to talk to him. Maybe it's praying because um, that's spending time with God and that's a great gift. Um, so whatever it is, it's okay because um, it's between you and God and you get to think about it and you get to do it. But it's awesome and um, he's worthy of it, right? He's worthy of all our praise. So let's come up with ways today to praise him.